Are you dreaming of visiting Switzerland? Planning a trip to Switzerland is very exciting, but it can also be overwhelming. How do you choose which of the many scenic cities, towns and villages to visit? Which mountaintop excursions should you take? And what's the best way to get around Switzerland? And of course, how much of the country can you realistically see within your time frame? If you've asked yourself any of these questions, this is the podcast for you. This is the Holidays to Switzerland travel podcast, and in each episode, your host Carolyn Schonefinger chats with Swiss travel experts to answer your most commonly asked questions, provide practical tips, and take you on a virtual visit to the most popular destinations, and of course, some hidden gems to help you plan your dream trip to Switzerland. And you'll hear plenty of conversations about Swiss cheese and chocolate too. Are you ready to plan your trip to Switzerland? Well, let's get started. Hello there. Welcome to episode 66 of the podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. How is your Switzerland trip planning coming along? Are you struggling to decide on an itinerary to follow? Or have you finalised your itinerary and are now facing the huge task of selecting and booking accommodation for every night of your stay and choosing the right rail pass? Planning a trip to Switzerland can be overwhelming and time consuming. So what if I told you there was a simple solution? You'd probably like to know more, wouldn't you? Well, you're in luck because today I'm chatting with Fabian Brunner from Switzerland Travel Centre, who offer a huge range of Swiss rail packages. With more than 20 different suggested itineraries to choose from, all of which can be customised to suit your interests and your time frame, they make booking a rail holiday in Switzerland simple. Whether you want to do your very own grand train tour of Switzerland or have just a few days to spend seeing the country on a scenic rail journey. There's a package that's right for you. We'll find out more about these great value rail packages shortly, as well as an exclusive Holidays to Switzerland discount. But before we do, I'd like to say thank you to the team from Switzerland Tourism, who are sponsoring the podcast again in 2023. You'll find lots of practical tips and inspiration on their website, myswitzerland.com. So do go and take a look, because if you need a natural trophy, you need Switzerland. Now, let's hear from Fabian. Hello, Fabian. Thank you very much for coming onto the podcast. It's uh, lovely to have you here. Would you like to start by telling our listeners a little bit about yourself and what your role with Switzerland Travel Centre is? Yes. Hello, Carolyn. Thanks for having me on the show. And My name is Fabian Briner. I'm a uh, born and raised in Switzerland, uh, working now for 10 years with Switzerland Travel Center. And my role is I'm responsible for the markets and our offices in Stuttgart, London and Hong Kong. So in short, you could probably could say I'm, I'm looking after all the incoming business. So be it direct customers or tour operators we do work with in Mary's Mart. For those listeners who uh, aren't familiar with Switzerland Travel Center, who and, and what exactly is, is the company? Well, Switzerland Travel Centre is the official and largest tour operator for holidays in Switzerland. Again, be it for Swiss citizens themselves travelling within Switzerland or international independent travellers, groups, or, you know, we work with major tour operators from around the world. As a company, we are a subsidiary of Swiss Hotel Association, uh, Switzerland Tourism, and the Swiss Federal Railways. Um, so we have totally 120 staff uh, in these locations I mentioned before. And this year we are celebrating our 25th anniversary. Congratulations. I guess that should give our listeners some confidence if they're, if they're booking their, their holiday through Switzerland Travel Centre to know that you're a subsidiary of, well, yeah, not only the Swiss Railways, but Switzerland Tourism and the Hotel Association as well. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about um, the Grand Train Tour of Switzerland because I know you offer some fantastic packages our listeners can book. But before we talk about those packages, can you tell us a little a bit about exactly what the Grand Train Tour of Switzerland is? Looking at the history, this is actually the public transport version of the initially founded Grand Tour of Switzerland, the self-drive tour around Switzerland. In short, it's kind of, it's the most popular panoramic trains in Switzerland, just, you know, put into one perfect itinerary. And, and kind of the sense was making the mode of transport to be the experience, you know, not only taking a train to go from A to B, but really taking the trains that 
take you through the most scenic landscape of Switzerland. And getting you to some pretty incredible destinations. Absolutely. If you look at, we're getting later, I guess, to the itineraries. I mean, and it's a round trip. So that's a good thing. We actually had to combine these panoramic trains in, in a way that you get around to the you know, most famous destinations and actually end up at the same point if you want. So let's, let's talk about those packages, but perhaps we could start with what you call the original. What does that entail? How, how many days is that itinerary and, and where would people be visiting if they took that package? The original is obviously, as, as the name says, the one we started with initially. And it, it's, we, we, you know, put it together in an eight day, seven nights package. And um, basically with our tickets, you can start from anywhere, be it an airport or be it any border point you enter uh, and then start the tour. And, and um, the original one takes you uh, from Zurich to Lucerne to Interlaken. Uh, then on that way, you have already the first scenic trains. You take the Lucerne Interlaken Express. Then you have obviously op- opportunities to visit you know, the mountain excursions, do the mountain excursions like the likes of Jungfrau, Joch, Diltorn and so on from Interlaken. And then the next stretch is actually on a, on a very new, not, not a new train, but just refurbished train or kind of you know, have new material. It's the uh, Golden Pass line that takes you from Interlaken to Montreux. And obviously you're in the um, in, in the Lake Geneva region. And from there, the next um, step is, you know, taking the train, and that's normal train, to up to Sermont, where he always has opportunities to explore some days up uh, in, in this famous mountain destination, do some uh, mountain excursions as well. The next one is obviously the longest stretch, but also the most popular, kind of most famous one is the Glossy Express. Take that from uh, Sermont to Sankt It takes it all in all eight hours. But you have opportunities, you know, have food on board, you have uh, three course meals, you have even have an excellence class, which is kind of really a super first class experience with catering service at, at your seat and everything. Being in, in St. Moritz, obviously, at any time we have the opportunity with our package to add extra nights. So you can actually extend that journey from the eight days that we see foresee originally to anywhere to, you know, up to 10, 15 days if you want. And then being in St. Moritz, the next actually highlights awaits you. This is the uh, Bernina Express, which takes you from St. Moritz to Tirano, which is in the Italian speaking part. It's actually already in Italy. And from there, there's a connecting bus along the Lake Como that takes you to Lugano. Lugano is in the southern part. It's in it, it, Italian speaking part of Switzerland in the Ticino. Totally different variety of things you can explore. Uh, different living, living feeling, kind of the Italian, Italian hotel, we call it. And then from there, um, you actually close kind of the, the whole loop by taking the Gotthard Panorama Express. And this one again is a unique one. This uh, panoramic train is, is, is a train going over the Gotthard. And so this is the old uh, rail um, track that actually takes you over the Gotthard Pass. And then it actually stops in Flüelen where you change to the boat and take the boat to Lucerne. Um, no, actually, with the original, we even have one stretch more. Sorry. This is then the last part uh, on, on the eighth day. You take the train. It's the Four Alpen Express, which take you from Lucerne to St. Gallen. It's a very gentle and scenic journey throughout uh, towards the eastern part of Switzerland. So that's where you actually end up and finalize your journey in St. Gallen. So you really get a great overview of all of Switzerland because, as you mentioned, you, you've got the Alps there, you've got the cities, you're going right down into the um, Italian-speaking part of uh, Ticino and then back over the Gotthard Pass um, up to northern Switzerland again. So it's it's just covering the whole country. Absolutely, all, all three, um, all four um, language regions and, and all the variety of landscapes you have, you know, along the lakes, you go up the, the mountain passes and so on. So, I mean, really, it's it's the full blend of, of experience in Switzerland. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, so we'll talk about some of the other itineraries in just a moment. But if people that are listening are interested in, you know, perhaps doing the original uh, Grand Tour package, Grand Train Tour package, that is, can you tell us what what the package that you offer actually includes? The packages we do, um, and that actually applies to all our scenic rail packages. But specifically for the, for the, for the grand tours, we do have, you know, first of all, spe- special tickets, special tickets in the means of they vary a bit from, let's say, what um, your listeners may be known, know is, is the Swiss travel pass. 
it's actually the perfect um, ticket to get around the Swiss travel pass. If you, if you probably don't know exactly where you go yet, you have full flexibility. Our tickets we include in the packages are actually tailor-made to the routing that the packages um, foresees and therefore are very, uh, very attractive in, in pricing and also leaves, but it still leaves you the opportunity to, you know, to extend your stay any, at any point during that journey on your itinerary. That's the train part. And, and that's much of the convenience we add to the package for our customers is are the seat reservations we all take care of. Um, and especially this summer, actually, we've seen a, um, a great demand and, and, and some, you know, some dates already sold out. So we're actually really are uh, doing our best to get to get these seats uh, allocated for our customers. And then the, the hotels, you have the, our customers have always the choice between Anywhere from a used hostel to a five-star hotel that can be all chosen in our booking engine. We might talk to uh, talk about later. And then you have breakfast included and um, you have the option also to include. And that's, again, optional uh, mountain excursions, activities and so on. So you can really have everything booked for you just in, in one sort of easy transaction. Yes, yes, absolutely. And that's why we see also a lot of customers really going, you know, coming our way for, for these packages. Well, you know, on, on the other hand, the grand train tour is, is a lot easier to be booked. You book a rental car and you book a hotel. Well, um, with, with the grand train tour, it's a lot of, you know, seat reservation, you know, to, you need to know which trains to take and, 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 and where, where to make the reservations. Each railway that we have many of in Switzerland, all these scenic railways do have their own booking systems. And so it's quite complex. And therefore people really look for us, not only price wise, but also for the convenience, having that booked and having it, you know, confirmed uh, in, 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 a, in a way they're sure everything works out. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, the convenience is is such an attractive part of the package, I think, because as you mentioned, each of the panoramic trains, they're run by a different railway, so there's a different booking system. But not only that, making sure that you get your booking as soon as the that booking window opens, you know, it's not like you can do it six months in advance. You've got to be there sort of on the spot as soon as the booking window opens. So it's very convenient having Whitson Travel Centre do that uh, on, on your behalf. Absolutely, yeah. All right. So what are some of the other grand uh, train tour packages that, that people might be interested in knowing about? We have the original, we have the classic and so these kind of are the same in, in the sense of, of the routing. And then we have, I mean, all of them are between eight, seven days, maybe six days. So we also wanted to have something available for shorter stays or people that maybe, you know, even the Swiss people or, you know, people from Germany that may not want to spend seven or eight days um, in Switzerland or just in, the, in between holidays. Um, so we have come up with um, some regional tours and some itineraries that are actually also themed. So we have something um, with the historic hotels combined. So you stay in your historic hotels on, on, on your journey. That's one uh, very popular um, program. And then we have one which is called the Hidden Treasures, which is really taking you on trains that, um, like the Centovalli Express, taking you from Greek to um, directly to Locarno. It's kind of a shortcut into the Ticino. We have a variety of packages. So one is um, Glacier and Palms, um, which obviously the name tells you you you, you experience, you know, the higher mountain passes and, and, and mountain destinations combined with the um, Italian part of Switzerland where you're down at the lake with the warm weather and the climate and the palms. In total, we have 10 grand train tour packages, of which eight are for summer and two are for winter. And that's interesting that also the winter has become very popular, especially for people that don't ski. They just want to have this winter wonderland feeling. And this is really perfect with the train if if um, if you're sitting in the warm inside cozy and just see the, the the snowy landscape passing by so this is this is a perfect experience in winter yeah wonderful so what is the most popular grand train tour package that you sell it's still the, the classic one compared to your the original one it's actually just short by this um extra train the the, the four Alton express going to the eastern part of switzerland so basically it's, it it starts in zurich and ends in Lucerne. So that's a seven day, six night package because it includes the highlights, the most popular trains you have included, but still it's, it's kind of not adding, you know, an extra day for many people who do want to do a week in Switzerland. 
obviously they did also you know stop overs in the right destinations in terms of you know additional activities so let's say even if you're staying in interlock and that I, I, I said already you know one option is Jungfraujoch as a mountain experience but you're also very close to you know burn the capital of Switzerland so this is maybe you know an, an hour's train ride from interlock and, and back so that's a good thing you know everywhere you can sidetrack to to any destinations on our original itinerary. And, and if you're looking at, at a map, what the Grand Train Tour looks like is, is like a lying eight. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of an infinity loop put on the Swiss map, you know, just connecting all the, you know, the most famous destinations and trains. Yeah. Now, you mentioned before that you have a wide range of accommodation from hostels right up to five-star accommodation, but we didn't mention that uh, people booking the package can can choose what class of travel they want to want to travel in on the trains as well. And also, I think on some of the longer Grand Train Tour packages, there's the option of having their luggage transported for them. Could you tell us about that? So this is very new. This is actually, you know, we piloted this last year with SBB. So SBB, the Swiss Federal Railways, had a, a luggage system in place for groups for some years, and we always tried to get it, you know, done for FIT and, and very in a, in a in a in a flexible and, and, and convenient way. And, and 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 finally, we managed. So we have now the option that um, for our uh, three most popular tours, the Grand Train to Original. The classic one and the one, the classic with the Jungfrau included, we have that service available. So people can additionally book the luggage transfer, which works in the way that you know, it's basically from the first to the last hotel. You have the option to choose how many luggage you want to be set, have sent from hotel to hotel. So how it works on a day-to-day basis, basically in the morning, you just leave your luggage in the reception, have your name tag on, and it will be picked up. So you need to leave it by eight o'clock um, and it will be um, put into your next hotel uh, in the evening uh, latest by 6 p.m. So that's super convenient and it actually gives you totally different way of you know, options to travel. I mean, you can stop over anywhere. You might even take the boat for some part of the stretch that you want to do or you even include a mountain excursion. So one one example could be, you know, from Ticino um, with the Go Truck Panorama Express that takes you normally from Lugano to Lucerne. You can actually include a mountain excursion on Mount Rigi on the way, which is would not be possible if you have your luggage to carry around. And especially, uh, we see a lot of bookings now coming in from overseas customers from Australia, from the US, who actually obviously traveling with with larger suitcases because sometimes for them Switzerland is only one part of a Europe trip. You know, it's it's what was missing kind of to make also some people really taking the train as a mode of transport because the convenience. Yeah. And it's 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 not it's really not costly if you compare what um, what you get. It starts at 140 francs per suitcase for five transfers, and and you really have you know are traveling hassle free. And then you can still decide you know if you just go for one big suitcase um, and ship that and travel along with the small you know back day day pack or something, um, or if you just um, have more luggage. So up to six luggage we can actually take per person. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, and when people are traveling from place to place, can they hop on and hop off the trains as they like? So if they are, for instance, if they were traveling from Interlaken to Montreux and they wanted to hop off in, in Stad, for instance, to have a bit of a look around or have lunch there, is that possible? Yes, yes, absolutely. With our ticket, basically, you can stop anywhere, anytime. You can also leave out the stretch. So we have people... Um, Let's say on, you know, they take the, the Bernina Express route, route and, and actually hike part of it. You know, they just, you know, get off at one point and, and walk to the next station, well, station, uh, just to the next, um, stop of the train and then, um, aboard the train again. So this is also an option. And also the public transport in the, in the cities is included. So you can actually take, you know, from, from the train station to your hotel. Most of the time we actually select very, I mean, we have a good number of hotels that we choose and, and, and use for these packages that are very conveniently located next to the train station. So you can even walk up to 500 meters something. Or then they're close by with the public transport stop that is kind of, you know, one, two stops by bus from the train station. So everything very much tailor-made to traveling by public transport. 
Yeah, excellent. And I guess if you do have mobility issues, then then when you're going through the booking process, you could choose a hotel that's that's closer to the station just to make it even more convenient for yourself. Absolutely. And also, you know, within the hotels, um, within the booking system, you can even choose um, your, your, your not only the hotel, but also within the hotel the room category that you want. I mean, um, if, if, if you have also, you know, if, if you're traveling with the family, we have the family rooms available or you want a special view or a high floor. So this is all, this can all be done in our booking system, which actually is, is a great tool exactly for these touring packages that we offer. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so we've talked about the Grand Train Tour packages. Are there any other scenic rail packages that um, that our listeners might be interested in? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of different itineraries and all of which we have different varieties again, you know, being from one in one direction to the other. But most of them are including some of the scenic trains, but then we also have very unique ones like, um, Furka steam train, for example, is one to, to mention. This is, this is, um, a, a train that runs in the summertime, goes from the Bollis, well, um, top of the Bollis, uh, region over the Furka pass to Andermatt. So, and it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's steam train and it's, it's an experience in itself. So to actually have this train. And then we have again, um, a combination of themed, um, tours. So one tour is more on the culinary side where you also have, where we include, um, food tours, uh, in, in Ticino for the Italian part of Switzerland. Um, where we, um, include cooking classes if you want. So, and also we have a lot of tailor-made, um, itineraries that we do for some of our tour operators, which again, then, um, offer it to their customers. Hmm. Okay. And for people that are perhaps wanting to do, um, say one of those uh, panoramic trains like the Benina Express or, or the Glacier Express, but they've only got, um, a couple of days and, and they don't want to perhaps you know, um, include that as part of a, a longer trip. Do you have shorter packages that they can just do um, like a one-way trip on on those panoramic trains? Yes, we do have. I mean, we the, 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 the shortest one is obviously um, one night. It's Bernina Express, you know, can start from anywhere uh, and, and go back to anywhere. Our ticket is very flexible in that sense. So you can be either in Zurich or you come directly, let's say, from Paris, enter through Basel, and then want to do um, a short panoramic train. So this is all possible. I mean, it's also for, for our Swiss um, Swiss guests, we have these short itineraries because normally they don't do a grand train tour in one stretch. They do the different panoramic trains in, you know, in, 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 ter- uh, in terms, yeah, they, they just um, do a glossy express maybe first and then a Bernina express two years later. So that's, that's where how people travel in Switzerland. So for these people, we have, uh, all length packages and all combinations of it. The good combination that's very popular is, for example, the Bernina Express and Copex combination, which again, you know, um, is kind of ending in a loop. You start at one point and, and come, come back to the same point. So I guess for those uh, people that may only perhaps be coming in and out of Zurich and, and they might just be having, or, or even perhaps pre or post a river cruise that ends in, or starts in Basel, they might just have, have two or three days that they would like to to you know to see some of Switzerland and do one of the, the panoramic trains that would be ideal for them. We also have one that is is less focused on the panoramic trains, but more on the mountain excursions. So um, the most famous mountain peaks, we call it, basically where you have all the all the, the glorious peaks included uh, in in your in your itinerary. So that's another option where where people actually want to um, not spending so much time on the on, on on the panoramic trains, but rather see the mountain tops. Okay, so now that everyone has had heard all about these fantastic packages and they're keen to to book their their train tour package, how do they actually go about doing that? Well, actually, we made it very simple. Uh, a few years ago, we introduced a new new booking tool, which which, which is tailor made for touring. The, the kind of the kind of package we offer, and so it's all on our website. So we ha- you basically choose your your um, your itinerary that you want to have, and then you start tailor making to your needs. So it starts with choosing, you know, your hotel category that you want. You can, you know, choose, as I said, from, from, uh, two star up to five star. And then you choose also, um, obviously you start with the travel date and then it actually puts together the itinerary, um, as it's foreseen. And then you can actually amend 
on on your way. So basically, let's say in, in the first destinations, we take a, um, a grand train to Classic, which takes you to the first overnight in Interlock, and you can choose the hotel. You can well, there it's a, a certain hotel is given to you, a preferred hotel of ours, which we think is is suitable for that journey. Um, and then, but you you feel free to change that. And then, um, as I said, within the hotel, you can change your room categories. Um, you can add an extra night if you, uh, if you need some more time in that destination to explore things. And then you obviously have the um, uh, the option to also include or kind of additionally book activities just by basically taking them into your itinerary. And um, as you go along, it always adapts and, 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 and updates your itinerary and all the, also the costing. And at the end of the day, you have some very convenient upgrade options, like you know, from second class to first class for the whole journey. You can even buy a, a, a lunch on the Glossy Express if this is part of your journey. We have this um, um, coupon voucher booklet, Swiss coupon pass, it's called, where you have... 100 two for one offers in restaurants and attractions, which is perfect for the FIT customer, saves a lot of money, but also gives inspiration uh, on the way. And then uh, last but not least, that's where you actually also select the um, the luggage transfer, um, which you can choose from how many luggages you want to be shipped from hotel to hotel. And then very com- conveniently, you check, just check out, pay by credit card, and we do confirm everything uh, immediately. And, um, and we'll send you e-documents three, four weeks in, uh, before the departure. So basically we, we book, you can book with us everything that starts in Switzerland. So the only thing you need to add is the flight basically when you come from overseas. Yes, I've, I've had a, a practice go through the, the booking system and it really, it's very intuitive, isn't it? Like, as you say, you can make amendments, um, compare prices with different hotels and, and see what it's like to, you know, travel first class rather than second class. Uh, so it's, it's really convenient. And I think one of the, um, other bonuses too is that it's just one payment for everything. You know, if you, you can certainly, um, book a grand train tour by yourself, as you mentioned earlier, by perhaps buying the Swiss travel pass and, and booking all your own accommodation, but you've got different transactions there with your packages. It's, it's all, all paid for in, in one go. So it's, it's very convenient. Yes, it is an online tool per se, but still we have people um, you can call at any time. We have a lot of customers calling from the U.S. And, you know, the, the good thing is you can also start the itinerary and then send it to us to finalize together on the phone. You know, this is, is convenience that we offer because we do have um, the experienced staff um, uh, in, in our call centers, be it in Zurich or London. Fantastic. You mentioned there um, that you can add in um, activities at various destinations. Are they only mountain excursions or are there some other sorts of activities that, that people can book? They vary from adventurous, let's say um, in, in the winter, it can be a, a, a snowshoe hike or um, in, in um, a kayaking on, 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 on Lake Brienz from Interlaken, or it's just a, a, a regular city tour, um, which you can do in Zurich, Lucerne or, or so. Or it's a show dinner. I mean, it's 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 a variety, and we are adding um, additional activities as as we go. So, but the ones we see are the most booked ones um, are the mountain excursions. And the good thing is, it it actually takes into consideration what kind of ticket you have already. So, with this ticket, it gives you, for example, the Gornergrat is a very popular one uh, in Zermatt, um, a mountain excursions. So when you actually select it, it already gives you half uh, half price because the half red card is included in your ticket. So again, it, it's convenience and it's also inspirational. I mean, if you look at the different options that we offer per destination, it it gives you a variety and, and and you know depending on your your needs or your kind of your your desires. Okay, and you uh, mentioned earlier that there's a couple of the Grand Train Tour packages that are uh, especially for winter. So I'm assuming that. Most of the packages, um, the other scenic rail packages as well, are also available during the winter. It depends a bit on on on, on the schedule of, of of the trains when the trains are running. But most of the trains are running also in winter time. The only one not running in winter time is to go to Panorama Express. But the let's say the Gloss Express does have a break uh, for maintenance in November. But all the rest uh, of the trains are actually running in the same way, um, like in summertime. 
yeah, that makes it convenient. So you can really travel as, as you do in, in, in summer. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Fabian, for um, telling us all about those wonderful train tour packages. Um, now, you have kindly offered a discount for the Holidays to Switzerland audience. Could you tell us about that, please? Yes, uh, together with you, Carolyn, we offered your listeners, if, if they want to book a package, a Grand Train to Package, or any of the um, scenic packages we offer on our, our website, switzerlandtravelcenter.com, 5% discount on the total package price. Um, and what you need to do is um, there's a promo code um, which you need to enter at the end of the uh, booking process when you check out to uh, redeem the, the discount. Uh, the promo code is called H-T-S-W-I-S-S. So I repeat, no, it's it's Hotel Tango and Swiss. H-T-Swiss. It's actually a good opportunity um, because at the end of the day, it saves you on the total cost. No, it's, it's an excellent discount and on an already uh, excellent value, you know, pack, package uh, holiday that people can tailor make to, to suit their exact interests and, and their time frame. Looking forward to have you in Switzerland, hopefully already this summer. Some of your listeners might might have already booked their summer holidays in Switzerland. So um, looking forward to have you here. Thank you. All right. Excellent. Thanks again. And we hope uh, we can encourage lots and lots of listeners to book their Switzerland Travel Centre rail package. Yeah, would appreciate. Thank you. Thanks, Fabian. I think you'll agree that there are lots of reasons to book a Swiss rail package. Booking a rail package is very convenient as all your trip arrangements are made on your behalf and everything can be paid for in one simple transaction. So it's super easy. I also love that there are a variety of durations available and each itinerary can be customised to suit your exact requirements. So if you've only got a few days in Switzerland at the start or finish of a river cruise, you can book a shorter package. If you have more time available, there are longer packages. And of course, there are themed packages for folks that want to focus on special interests, whether they be panoramic trains, mountain peaks or historic hotels. The booking process is very easy too. If you'd like to watch a video walkthrough of the booking process, I'll include a link in the show notes to a video I recently recorded, which takes you step by step through how to book your rail package. Also in the show notes, you'll find a link to the Switzerland Travel Centre website so you can browse all the Grand Train Tour and Scenic Rail packages and I'll include the details of the Holidays to Switzerland promo code so you can take advantage of a 5% discount when booking your package. The show notes for this episode can be found at holidaystoswitzerland.com forward slash episode 66. Thanks again for listening in today. Until next time, tschüss! If you'd like more great resources to help you plan your dream trip to Switzerland, there are lots of ways to connect with us. Visit our website, holidaystoswitzerland.com, sign up for our monthly newsletter, or join our friendly, helpful community of past and future travellers in our Switzerland travel planning group. You'll also find the links to connect with us in the show notes for this episode. Show notes and a list of all previous episodes are available at holidaystoswitzerland.com slash podcast. Don't miss out on your fortnightly dose of Swiss travel inspo. Hit the subscribe button on your favorite podcast app so you never miss an episode. And if you enjoyed the show, please leave a rating. That's all for this edition of the Holidays to Switzerland Travel Podcast. Thanks for joining us and happy travel planning.